but I do not think that America will die for us. America has never been the friend of the Ukrainians, and we are not the friends of the Filipinos. We don't like you. If we did like you, we wouldn't be doing this to you. We are using you. You are a tool. So we'll go to the uh, final question, which I mentioned is from Philippines, and it is from Maria Catherine Suba from Radio Mindanao. Yes, good afternoon, everyone. It's already uh, 2.57 a.m. here in the Philippines. I am Maria Catherine Suba, a freelance broadcaster. I am a co-host of uh, Late uh, Butch Valdez uh, with Itas Valdez in Radio Mindanao Network in ZXL, ang ating katipunan show. My question goes to Mr. Scott Ripper. As a former UN weapons inspector and U.S. Marine Intelligence officer, and actually to anyone else who wants to answer, a proxy war is being orchestrated in this part of the world, our country, the Philippines. Our country is actually being used by the U.S. in its intent of war against China. And according to geopolitical analysts, the Philippines will be the next Ukraine. The Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has allowed additional nine EDCA sites or more appropriately nine U.S. military bases all over the country. The armed forces of the Philippines seem to be following orders from their U.S. counterparts. Drum beats of war is being heard almost every day. Sinophobia is being propagated on mainstream media. Almost every week, there is an incident of Chinese Coast Guard that water cannons a Philippine vessel at the South China Sea. Do you think a false flag operation can happen here as tensions are getting worse? What do you propose for this to stop? Thank you. Well, thank you very much for the... Uh for the question. Um, just so you know, I have a little bit of background in the Philippines. In 1986, I was deployed there as a platoon commander uh, to reinforce the Subic garrison after the uh, fall of the Marcos regime. There was concern about the new people's army. So I have a, a warm spot in my heart for the for the Philippines. Um, let's, let's build upon what uh, Colonel Wilkerson had said earlier. The United States is incapable of fighting a sustained conflict against a peer-level force. The United States cannot fight and engage China and win. We will not beat the Chinese. We cannot beat the Chinese, and we know this, and yet we're using the Philippines to create the conditions of potential conflict with the Chinese. Please understand that for the Filipino people, this is a recipe for disaster. You think America is your friend. So too did the Ukrainian people, and they are dying by the hundreds of thousands. Friends don't let friends die in those quantities. The Ukrainians have been displaced by the tens of millions. Friends don't let friends have their cities destroyed in this manner. Friends don't let friends have families separated, have mothers... That's not how friends behave. America has never been the friend of the Ukrainians, and we are not the friends of the Filipinos. We don't like you. If we did like you, we wouldn't be doing this to you. We are using you. You are a tool, nothing but a tool. And when the tool ceases to be useful, we will discard you. And discard you means usually after a war that devastates you. We are using you to gain some sort of momentary leverage over the Chinese. We will fail. The Chinese will win and you will be destroyed. End of story. It's high time the Filipino people pressure their government to start sitting down and engaging the Chinese government responsibly. China is not your enemy. China is your neighbor. China is your friend. China doesn't want war, and if you would engage China in diplomacy, and as we've all indicated here, America has long since lost the skill set necessary to carry out diplomacy, but the Filipinos, the Philippine people can reignite this, to relearn it, to use this skill to prevent a war. But if you continue to behave 
as colonial subjects, and I know that's a sore, sore, sore subject in the Philippines, because you were the colonial subjects of America. We still view you as our colonial subjects. We don't like you. We don't care about you. We just want to use you. Grow up. Grow up and act responsibly. Take control of your own future. America is not here to help you. America is here only to use you until there's nothing left, and then we will discard you on the trash heap of history.